G'day everyone, it's been a while since I posted a clip again, so uh, here I am with this game, uh, it's been, so this turns out to be an interesting game uh, here, in the beginning I'm sort of trying to work out whether I want to go left or right, um, now if you have a look at the uh, green and red square things at the top you'll see some names that have uh, like an image of a tank uh, right, at the end of them. Those are the bots. That's how you can tell a bot from a human. The humans don't have that little tank uh, there so it's, uh, it's, if you want to know how you can work out what the bot who's, who's the bot and who's not that's how uh, it's the easiest way to, to notice it. <coughs> so I'm heading up here and uh, coming up here to do some sniping. Uh, I'm going to hide behind uh, this bush here, but first I go forward a bit past the bush to so stop there and go past there, yeah, see what I can see up there. Uh, so I back up just in case I'm in view. You know, I've got trees um, being knocked down by my teammate here, knocking, uh, knocking them down as he gets into position. Now, when you're on the other side of the um, map, uh, just above where these tanks are being shot at, uh, if you've got yourself set up there for sniping, uh, you can actually see those trees coming down when people do that, and you know that somebody's up there, so you can just fire randomly up there um, to give them harassment shots. And generally, you can actually hit some of the tanks sometimes, um, and of course, it won't tell you that you've done any damage, but uh, you actually can do damage to tanks. Um, it's called firing blind. Um, this is a fairly even game, uh, as you watch at the top of the screen it says uh, they've now killed two of ours and we had one of theirs killed. Um, and it kind of goes like that through the whole game, it stays pretty even in that. Um, I've got him down to almost dying but he doesn't show himself anymore after that. Um, that's a keyhole, uh, I think. Um, the T80 that showed was there as well before. Oh, that's the T80 there. Get some shots into him. Take this. Oh, dark. You can't see him anymore. And those two never show up again. So now I'm just looking around um, for targets. And that. Basically, they're outside my um, view range, so I can't see them. Here we go, we have a uh, Panzer 5 4, which is a very annoying tank along with a KV. Um, the only weak spot on the uh, Panzer 5 4 is up on top of the turret where the uh, commander's cupola is. Um, other than when once they've got uh, damage done to them, once they've had damage done to them, then you're going to start damaging the um, 5 4 when you hit them elsewhere. I'm still looking around, I know he's there. Waiting to see if anything shows up. Keep an eye on the left side of the map. I've got three teammates over there. Um, I'm concentrating here because I know I've got plenty of teammates over the other side. We're looking for targets of opportunity. And uh, <coughs> I'm showing up in the middle of the thing. It's A2. Now, this is a really hard tank killer to hit. Uh, that's actually not a turret on top, it's just um, part of the tank, it's um, just uh, my tank, it's very hard to do any damage to this kind of tank, not without using gold rounds, what we call um, APCR, whatever it is, um, it's, a, it's a rather expensive round, it's, really, it's referred to as gold, uh, it was actually my teammate that was uh, doing all the damage to that AT2. 5-4 is showing up again, but he's down behind cover, I can barely see him. See he's just got his head sticking up, I'm trying to zoom in on his uh, top of his turret. I couldn't do it. He was moving, so my shot went wide or whatever. Which is really annoying. Like you zoom in, you're on target and that, but the shot still goes wide. You see I, I was able to do damage to him just by hitting him in the turret. Now uh, I'm only down to one teammate over on the left side of the uh, map. 
near the um, J area, J3. Panzer um, 5 4. Not showing himself. Now, my teammate on the other side is being surrounded and taken on by three enemy tanks. He's now gone, so we're wide up. There's only three of us left. And it's at, uh, we've killed seven of them and they've killed ten of us. So I'll back down. I'm going to go over to just up there. Um, you can see uh, that the high, that hill there. Uh, and up there, there's a nice little sniping spot above the, that put me above the. I know that's where they're going to go. And it also gives me a wide open view of the whole area. And my teammate in the stub um, is off and taking care of the uh, Panzer 5 4. Now, if you keep an eye uh, on the left side of the screen, just above, which shows my life and that, it says. Uh, it comes up with messages and everything. If you keep an eye on the messages that come up there, you can see how uh, one of my teammates uh, is talking to me whilst I'm up here. Um, eventually what happens is uh, it comes down to four of them against us, two of us. Uh, actually, uh, four against one, which is me. Um, my uh, other team teammates uh, will eventually get taken out. I can't get a proper bead on this guy because my tank's in multiple position, I can't get the gun to come down. When I do, it's, uh, I can't get the gun onto him fast enough. One of my teammates takes him out. Um, my other teammate that was in the stug, he's gone. So there's only a Type 95 left. He's taking rounds hits at the moment. Um, I know they're going to come from that direction. As you can see there, I've been I'm there on my own, so my teammate's saying good luck to me. Um, this is getting to be a rather tight situation here. There's four of them, two of us at the moment, very shortly. Um, my teammate over there will end up getting taken out. Not before he shows up the enemy tank that destroys him. I'm looking, I know I've got two coming that way. There's the team. The tank is soaring. I've got a bead on him. And I'm able to take him out. I've got it down to three. So at that particular point before I took him out, there was four of them against me. I was able to take out one. Um, so now I'm just waiting to see what happens. Uh, he's going to show up first. And that's, I'm looking around. Now I've got those two coming up on the left there. I'm expecting them to come through here, but they actually don't. They come up right along the side of the thing. They don't show up until they're right, literally right on top of me. And that gives me a bit of a fright. Because I'm busy looking, concentrating here, and basically out of the corner of my eye, I see uh, the stoke down there. But I panic a little bit thinking he's behind me. The M10 got a shot into me as I came down. Shot into the stool. Um, the second shot into him. The M10's there. Uh, and the third shot into the. That shot missed me, thankfully. He gets a shot into me, as you can see how it's APCR. What we call gold. And I managed to reload the four him. And that, because he took out my engine, and I also got a shot into him at the same time. So now I'm down to just one player left. Uh, when I was taking on those two, uh, I was basically freaking out. Um, it was so close and heroes in that fight. Um, so here I come. Up here I'm thinking I'll go over to the side here a little bit to try and... Because the mini-map is showing that the last position that tank was over in this, towards the middle of the game. He turns up on the right. I take a snapshot at him. I fire too low. He takes off and I'm coming around. Here, I've shot him, in, but his armor works. Um, he's not doing a great deal of damage to me. He fires at me again, does some more damage. I managed 
actually taking me out and I actually won the game. So I won against four and I was actually able to beat them. Uh, that was one freaky game. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope to hear some good comments from this.